That right there could be a fish. If it is, it's a smaller one. But he's there. He is there. Hooked up. Hooked up. Making a drag out here in an almost spring day. Not exactly spring. We're pretty dang close. Not exactly spring weather, I should say. But winter is behind us. Oh, this is a little bitty one. This is too little to eat here. I was going to keep it something to eat today. Channel catfish. First channel catfish I have caught in months. I, I may have picked off one or two during the winter, but that is the first channel cat I have seen in a long time. Are they waking up here with some uh, more daylight? Could be. Might talk about that daylight here in a minute, but I'm not going to eat that one. I'm going to let that one get back. There you go. There you go, guys. A channel catfish. Uh, it it's, might be time for those to start waking up coming out of wintertime. You know, we don't catch a lot of them in the wintertime, just like with the flatheads. We've got all three major species here, the blue cat, channel catfish, and flathead. And, uh, you know, wintertime, you don't catch as many channel catfish. You will catch some. The one that's really hard to catch are the flatheads in the wintertime. But... We're starting to get more and more daylight as we roll into springtime. Uh, that daylight starts to change what's going on with these fish. It starts to affect some of their pre-spawn uh, pre stuff that's going on. That's what's been going on with the bass here for a while now. Pre-spawn stages. Doesn't really matter what happens with the water temperature. Water temperature can be, uh, you know, unseasonably warm or unseasonably cold. Uh, the only thing it's going to do is maybe just uh, get them a little more excited to move around. They're going to do their spawning when the time is right and daylight is what's going to dictate that and as we get further and further into spring closer and closer uh you know to summertime more and more daylight so uh you know a little bit of activity it doesn't mean it's just going to go crazy you still got good days and bad days today's not exactly on fire i covered a lot of water to get that first fish so it doesn't mean just because it's warming up it's going to go crazy but generally speaking the bite gets better and better as it warms up and most importantly as we get more and more daylight as it looks like there is one on this outside planer yes sir hooked up hooked up nice 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 i got some new planer boards on here i'm going to show you when i get them up here uh the folks at bcat keep on coming out with something new and innovative and these are just pretty but anyway we're hooked up on a fish man it's getting warm this is the thing about this time of the year you get out here in the morning, it can be chilly. It can still feel like winter. And then you're out here a few hours by the mid-afternoon, it warms up. You know, we're into the we're into the 50s today, lower 50s. It's sunny, there's no wind, so it's very comfortable, very tolerable. And it's a nice day to be out here. I probably got on too much clothes. I got on my one of my uh, wind-resistant hoodies and uh some new boots i'm trying out i'll show you those in a second another small fish a blue get him up here we can look at him boom in the boat that is a smaller one that one semi semi sus you may get to take the hook it's one of those black peg floats i'll tell you about that in a minute but yeah i think this one i'm gonna let him take the hook instead of cutting him all apart Blue got some mud on them, usually a sign of some inactive fish. Not exactly on fire with the bite, but we'll get this one back alive. See if we can stick another one. All right, guys, there's number two. That was a blue cat that time. Another one, small, uh, not a big fish. Uh, pulled a pretty good waist through here. Marking some fish, marking a pretty good mini fish. A lot of bait in here. There's a lot of thread fin. Uh, but it's not on fire by wise. Most of the fish I'm seeing are smaller fish. So uh, just happy to get one. Uh, you know, it's covered in mud. Usually, typically, that's a sign that the fishing's uh, or the fish have been inactive. And, you know, that could be what it is. We may be coming off of uh, a slow period. We've had some up and downs with the water. Water's went up. It's went down. It's got muddy. It's cleared up. It's rained again. We've got more. So a lot going on. And first time I've been out here in over a week. So trying to dial some stuff in, figure out what's going on, and just doing the best thing you can do to catch fish if you hadn't been out there, and that is cover water. 
All right, guys, these are the planer boards I was telling you about. They're from BCAT. I've been using BCAT boards for years, but they sexied them up a little bit with this anodized metal rudder that is on them. In the past, they've been painted different colors. You can get them in various different colors with uh, various colors on flotation, but these have this anodized metal on them. Just something to make them look a little sharper. Looks like outside planer board has got a fish on Let's see what we got here, baby. Another, not a giant. <laughs> not a big fish. I don't know. I don't know where they're at. We're covering some water today. Uh, I'm not marking a lot of fish. Now, I have not, like I said, I haven't been out here. I have not rode around and tried to mark a lot of fish. I did not spend a lot of time. I just went to fishing. Uh, a little fishing blind, not exactly always the smartest thing to do, but as you bank anglers know, sometimes you ain't got much of a choice. You bank guys especially. Here, yeah, I could ride around and spend a bunch of time, but I just wanted to fish. So I figure I'll stumble across, across some here and there, and I have. One thing I hadn't found is any white perch. I've got this rod out here, and I hadn't marked a lot either. I think that may be the trick. Came to an area, oh man, that's another small channel catfish. Uh, let's see if we can get him up here. Yep. Yep, small one. But yeah, hadn't marked any uh, really good schools of perch. Not a lot of birds here either. Seen some in the last place, but no fish around. Mud. Mud on the channel catfish. Generally, not a good sign for a lot of action are coming. But we're getting some. They're little, they're really little today. It's McDinkville, but we're catching. So you might be wondering, man, three small fish. What can you do to find the big ones? Well, uh, quite honestly, uh, if you're in a boat, you probably need to get up and go somewhere else and do some riding and do some looking. That's if you're truly just targeting big fish uh if you're on the bank man it's a lot tougher there's not a lot you can do unless you have the ability to walk up and down the bank or get in a car and go somewhere else you got to be where the fish are like i said when i caught that fish i'm not spending a lot of time out here looking around today to try to find fish mark fish it's a little more of a fun fish a little more of an exploratory trip i'm trying some things formula wise that typically work here in the springtime just to see what's going on and take a look around. If I was really serious about catching a big fish tournament fishing, probably be doing a lot of riding, probably be burning a lot of gas, uh, probably be going and looking at some different places. Uh, who knows where the magic or what the magic combination is today. It varies and it changes. So uh, sometimes you have to do that. When you're on them, you're on them and you can kind of stay on them for a few days, but stuff does shift around. Uh, I haven't been out here, so I'm gonna, just try to figure out what's going on. I'm going to give this pull a little while longer, and then I'm going to pick up and move. May do a little bit of riding. Running out of daylight here. We've probably got a couple hours of fishing left, so I may do some looking. May pull further back into one of these creeks. I was thinking more of the action would have been out toward the front, but sometimes the fish are not where we think they are, and uh, I've said that repeatedly in a lot of my videos. Sometimes you got to get off of where you think they should be and go to where they are and again that takes some riding some burning gas some looking and uh even then sometimes it can leave you frustrated sometimes those fish can just be locked down and doing nothing and it can still be frustrating but it's kind of the formula we'll see how it plays out for us oh right, real quick here are the boots that i was telling you about uh these are from high sea i did a video they sent me some of the low cut boots great for wearing on a boat or just running in and out of the house when it's wet. Uh, my son wears them all the time going out to feed the dog. They sent me these. They, they asked uh, about some of the other products. I said, I need some winter boots. I said, let me try some out. And uh, they sent these out. And I can tell you this, they work pretty good because I'm standing out here in bare feet now. It's only about 50 degrees out here. They may be a little bit warm for this weather. I don't know. Uh, granted, they are black. It is sunny, there is no wind, and uh, it's not super cold, but my feet got hot. It's a good boot to have on the boat. I like having the high top rubber boots because when I get out of the trailer uh, or when I get the boat out of the water, I have to step into the water uh, to get it up onto the trailer. So is, I need high top boots. We're gonna put them to use out here in the winter time, cold weather, springtime while it's still cool. And then put them away until deer season next year and put them to use then. So check them out. I'll put you a link down in the description below where you can check out the website.